for the first question on the second ACT practice test, two enterprising college students decide to start a business. They will make up and deliver helium balloon bouquets for special occasions. It will cost them $39.99 to buy a machine to fill the balloons with helium. They estimate that it will cost them $2 to buy the balloons, helium, and ribbons needed to make each balloon bouquet. Which of the following expressions could be used to model the total cost for producing B balloon bouquets? So with this problem, we need to figure out the equation for the cost for a certain amount of balloon bouquets. And this question has assigned the variable B for the number of balloon bouquets. So let's create an equation for the cost of B balloon bouquets. So this would be equal to, we know that we have to spend $39.99 to just buy the machine. But it looks like once we spend that, we won't have to spend that again. So we can call that a fixed cost. So no matter how many balloon bouquets we make, we will always at first have to pay this $39.99. And then we're told that it's $2 to buy the balloons, helium, and ribbons needed to make each balloon bouquet. So essentially it's $2 per bouquet. And we know that there are B bouquets being produced. Okay, that B could be any number, but for now it's just left as a variable. So we can write that it's going to be this $2 per bouquet multiplied by the number of bouquets. And you can test this, like let's say you wanted the cost of three bouquets, we would still have to pay this initial cost of $39.99, but then we're essentially just substituting the number three for the variable B here. So we'd have this $2 multiplied by three, which is six. So for three bouquets, we'd have to pay the $6 plus this fixed cost here. And the only equation up here that even has the correct fixed cost is this letter A. And you can see that it also has this $2 for B bouquets. So choice letter A will be our final answer.